What is going on, my friends? My name is Zalt, and welcome back to another episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Alrighty, guys. I'll be honest. Uh, it took a while for me to actually record today. In fact, it's actually very late right now. Also, sorry for the bad setup. I know it's kind of uh, weird. Actually, hold on. Maybe I can fix this. One second. Alright, anyway. There we go. Sorry about that. It took me a while to actually get around to recording today, just simply because... Um, I was so invested with working on my music. Uh, honestly, I didn't want to do anything else. And I was working on my music almost all day, which kind of set me back just a little bit. But, you know, no big deal, honestly, because I already have the other video recorded for tomorrow. I just need to edit it. And it's a very short video in comparison to what I normally do. So I can do that tomorrow morning. And Crash Bandicoot's also an easy one to record and edit. Aside from getting the thing set up and continuing with this janky setup that I have. But either way, no big deal. No big deal. Um, last time, if you remember, in the series, the video series, we actually finished this level here, Hook, Line, and Sinker. And in today's episode, we're actually going to be playing Jetboard Jetty. And yes, before anybody mentions it, yes, I know I played this on stream last week. But here's the deal. Um... I want the video series to basically be a playthrough of all the levels in the game. So with that being said, we're actually going to replay this level. And if you missed the stream, then I guess this is your chance to actually see the level. Otherwise, I mean, sorry if you're seeing this twice. Either way, hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, we're going to be playing Jetboard Jetty. This will not be my first time playing this, but either way, should still be fun. So let's go and hop right in. As you can see, we collected three of the gems, and we're going to replay it. Let's see if I can actually collect any more. It's been a little while since I played this game. I think the last time I played this game was actually when I streamed it, so... Yeah. Uh, it's interesting to be coming back here and playing this again, and I'm actually going to go ahead and just record this episode and the next one. That way I'll have them ready to go. Even though, well, I mean, it is kind of late at night, and I need to edit at least one video tonight, but... Either way, it shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal. As you can see, we're playing as Artist Crash now. I actually did go back and collect some of the gems just because I kind of wanted to. I actually probably will 100% this game. Just don't expect me to do every little thing on camera. So, yeah, that's one thing. But either way, I'm very much enjoying this game. Um, if anybody out there is playing this game, if anybody is um, who's watching this video just happens to be playing this game as well, let me know what you think of it. Do you enjoy it? Do you think it's as good as the original Crash Bandicoot games? If you do, then let me know how you feel about it. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people will have mixed feelings on that. I know a lot of people will prefer the original Crash and say nothing can ever compare to them. And I can understand that feeling. I can. But for me, I think it's a pretty good um, sequel to Crash 3, honestly. I really, honestly, and truly do. I think they nailed it just by what i've seen so far and i haven't spoiled the entire game by the way and i'm not going to spoil the entire game because you know i want to have some surprises for when i'm actually recording but either way um so far i think they're doing a really phenomenal job with this game and as you can see oops uh, there goes the life i just got i didn't see that gap there but as you can see i've got quite a few lives now and of course that's simply because i was playing before and I was also going back and collecting gems and whatnot, and because of that, um, obviously I didn't die as many times in the original level. So I have a good back stock of lives, which is nice. I wonder if I get an achievement for getting 99, kind of like in the uh, Insane Trilogy, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we will eventually find out, my friends. We shall. But yeah, like I said, um, I've been so invested in working on my music today, and I don't have days like that normally. Um, so that's why I wanted to take full advantage of it. Because the thing is, me and my music, like, anybody who's been following this channel, you know I write music. And my music, a lot of times, I'll feature it in my creative corner posted in the Sunday vlog. Whoa, what the heck? Why didn't you grab that, Crash? But a lot of times, I'll post it in the um, creative corner posted in my Sunday vlog. And it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and made something new. In fact, even the ones I made today, I made a few of them. Actually, a couple of them I kind of just finished. But I made a few of them, and even those ones, one of them is a remake from the past, which is not a bad thing necessarily, and then the other two are new, although one of them is also kind of sort of a remake, I don't know, I'm probably going to feature it this week unless somebody else decides they want to submit something for the Creative Corner, which, if you do, by the way, if you want to submit anything for the Creative Corner, and if, if you happen to be watching this video and you have no idea what I'm talking about, 
understand that every single week I have this creative corner where I, um, ah, okay, I guess we're going down the toilet then. But um, every single week I have this creative corner where I will feature anybody's artwork, anybody's music, anybody's anything creative. It could be even, heck, a Minecraft build or something. And basically I'll put it out there for the world to see. <laughs> Anybody who watches these videos, they'll be able to actually um, check it out. And the creative corner is actually a really cool feature in my opinion because it gives people an opportunity to have their um, hard work recognized, you know? And I like to um, help people best I can. I really do. And in addition to the creative corner, I also do like this channel spotlight like thing. But either way, we are getting off topic here. We're getting off topic. I didn't mean to um, make this a rant about my channel. But anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying, the um, the new song I made today is a throwback to like what I did like years ago, and I mean years like back in 2006. Oh, that was a bad idea. Uh, okay, we're fine. But like back in 2006, years ago. So I figured, you know what? Might as well just kind of like uh, see what happens if I decide to make something within that style. And I actually ended up with the song within the old style. And I think it came out actually kind of cool. Um, I'm going to share it with you guys this Sunday. Again, assuming there are no other um, submissions. But I'm going to share it with you guys this Sunday. And hopefully you guys will like it. And also in my Discord, which a link to the Discord will be in the descri description. I also shared one of the songs that I made today. One of the longer ones. Because I try and keep the um, my um, creative corners kind of short and sweet. I don't want to make them super duper long. But this... Last week kind of was an exception, just due to the fact that, um, ah, okay, I gotta focus, man, just due to the fact that, um, it was a longer song, and I really wanted to share that one with you guys, but anyway, anyway, as you guys can tell, I take a lot of pride in my work, I really do, and honestly, that's kind of how it should be, um, uh, when it comes to anything, if you don't take pride in your work, like, what's the point, like, you want to take pride in anything and everything you do. I'm just murdering this level right now. Like I said, I did play it one time, so I kind of know what to expect. But even so, I'm only, I've am only i only played it one time. So <laughs> I'm not expecting to be doing this good at this. Who knows? I might actually get the gym for... Um, oh, wait, actually... Eh, no. I was going to say, I might actually get the gym for a um, few deaths. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see. Highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. But either way, either way change in the subject hopefully everybody had a very good week last week um obviously we're now in week 12 but last week i actually had some pretty interesting things happen like even yesterday at work um <laughs> it's funny okay so this is kind of a funny story right um i am one of those people who likes to put up their christmas tree early like november 1st early okay but here's the dilemma right the dilemma is that up until recently, I haven't even had a Christmas tree, just simply due to the fact that um, I just moved into this apartment on my own within the past year, and the Christmas tree that we did have actually went to my brother, and I kind of did that on purpose because I was planning on getting a new tree anyway, but I realized now that we're in October, I had to kind of start shopping around for Christmas trees, so I did. Started shopping around for Christmas trees, and I started looking around, seeing if I could find something I like. And there were a few good ones on Amazon and whatnot, and I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll just go to Target, and maybe I'll find something there. I didn't actually buy one yet. So, I kind of just uh, put it out of mind for a little while, right? Kind of just put it out of mind, and I'm like, okay, so just continued on with my business. And then I went to work yesterday, right? Ooh, we get to use a Kano, or not a Kano, I'm sorry, um, Lainey Loli. But I kind of put it out of my mind for a while until yesterday when I was on a delivery. Uh-oh. And I was delivering to this one house, right? And <laughs> uh, I get to the house. Well, first off, it's it was extremely lucky that I even got this delivery because I originally wasn't going to take this one. This particular delivery, it was actually going to go to somebody else, but he was trying to... Um, hog a delivery for himself and i'm like dude just take the one delivery because he was trying to take two and it's like it was too slow to take two but either way that's beside the point um he was try he, he was actually going to take the delivery right so i got very lucky to even have gotten this delivery so i go on the delivery and right outside this customer's house there is a box like one of those tote boxes and inside the box is a christmas tree and there is a sign outside saying free Christmas tree seven foot. 
I'm like, really now? So this guy's just giving away a Christmas tree. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shoot. So I'm like, okay, so this guy's just giving away a seven-foot Christmas tree. And that just happened to be the exact size of a Christmas tree, which I was actually looking for. Because as you can tell, I mean, if you look around my apartments, you see I have kind of high ceilings. And because of that, like, I wanted to get kind of a larger tree. Obviously, seven foot's not that big, but it's big enough where it's not going to fit in some people's houses. In fact, when I went to go knock on this customer's door, because it just happened to be the customer I was delivering to who had the Christmas tree, um, I knocked on the door, and I asked him about the tree, and he told me, oh, yeah, um, the reason they're giving it away is because it cannot fit in their house. I'm like, okay. And I asked the guy, I'm like, so I can just take it then? He's like, yeah, yeah, you can have it. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, everything's there. The stand is accounted for. It's like, I mean, the only reason, like I said, that they're getting rid of it is because it was too big for their house. And I'm just like, well then, I guess I don't need to buy a tree after all because, I mean, you know. Ah, careful, careful. Either way, pretty funny story. Um... It's just crazy how that kind of stuff works out sometimes. It's like, it could have been anything sitting outside of that house, you know, but it just happened to be a Christmas tree right at around the time that I was looking to buy one anyway. So, you know, I got insanely, insanely lucky. But hey, it was a good weekend overall, though. It really was. Um, I think I told you last time. I cannot download Spyro. I'm not trying to download Spyro. What the heck? What about Spyro? I don't need to download no Spyro right now. But anyway, um, as I was trying to say, I just got super lucky. And it was just a really good weekend in general because uh, my friend Vertoro, I think I told you last time I was recording this, but my friend Vertoro started work with me on Friday. And because of that, now I have a close friend who I'm working with as well, which is making work actually a lot more interesting, at least for the time being. So, yeah. It was a really good weekend. It was a really good weekend. And now here we are back in playing Crash. Oh, I forgot about this. Those guys suck. Those guys suck so badly. I just got to be really careful of them. And I love how they brought this back. This is obviously a throwback to Crash 2. How um, you can ride that jet board around Crash 2. And, you know, you have the water levels and whatnot. This is obviously something very similar to that. I like how they combine all these elements from the different Crash games. It's really, really cool to see. It really, honestly, it really is. But either way, either way, this is also a long level, I noticed. Jeez, man. It's like, I'm doing all right, but... Oh, that's right. That's right. These guys are the reason that I'll fail, if anything. Ah, ah. Okay, thankfully I had an Ocu... Ocu! Okay, okay, just go, just go, just go. Oh, I wanted that last... I wanted that last box. Oh, well, I probably missed some anyway. Probably missed some anyway. But either way... It was a really good weekend for me. Hopefully everybody else is also having a good weekend. Um, I know we all have our own lives and things going on. And I just want to say that I hope everybody has having a very good weekend for the time being. Or I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm just kind of talking out of thin air. But okay. I need to focus on the game. We have a mini boss. As you can see, we are fighting Luis or Louise. And she's a Kraken. I think it's really cool that they found a way to incorporate a boss battle into the um, jet board segment, though. I mean, honestly, honestly, like I said, they nailed it out of the park with this game. Like, seriously, seriously impressive. Oh, how did that not hit him? I guess, I guess it was the other way around. Okay, okay. So you just run into him, run into him. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I did really well at this the first time. This time, not so much. Not so much. Ah, shoot. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, for some reason, I thought this was in the next level, but I guess not. I guess it really wouldn't make sense for it to be in the next level because we are moving on to something else after this level. And this area, I'm pretty sure this little world doesn't have an actual boss fight. So, yeah. But anyway, anyone else who, out there who's playing this game, let me know what you think of it so far. Are you enjoying it just as much, or do you feel like there are things they could have done better, or how do you feel about it? Feel free to give your honest thoughts, because I'm, I'm giving mine, and I'm saying that they are doing a fantastic job with it. I really honestly and truly do think so, and I'm very curious. Come on, just hit him. Oh, come on, really? 
Seriously now? And they ran into each other. Awesome. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm very curious. Very curious to see if they're going to have like any DLCs or anything for this game in the future. Because that would be interesting. Really? Come oh. Oh my god. You see? You see? It's still Crash Bandicoot. So you can expect the same frustration. And the same... Ugh. Okay, this is stressful. It's stressing me out right now. But you can expect the same frustration and the same difficulty as the original games. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Just hit him. Hit him. Come on, just hit him. Just hit him. Oh, please. Just hit him. Run into him. Thank you. Okay. Only you left. No, 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 no. Why are there two? I don't like this. I swear. I have to redo this. Thank you. Oh, my God. That was stressful. See, I, li I missed a lot of boxes. Oh, wait. No, there's this. Oh, I didn't even hit it. But. Oh, well, no big deal. I missed one anyway. I couldn't have gotten the gym. So, no need to feel bad. No need to feel bad. Uh, three gyms, just like before. No big deal. No big deal. Just continue on. There's a Kano. But yeah, I guess we couldn't have played as a Kano before anyway, because he's only just now being introduced. But we're about to play as a Kano in these next levels, so yeah. That is definitely something worth noting. Akano's fun though. He he took me a little while to master. Some people get him down instantly. For me, it took me a little while because it was kind of odd mechanics. But either way, welcome to Tranquility Falls. This world is gorgeous. Like, seriously, seriously amazing. Um, Y'all are going to love this world. We're going to play Coco this time. Let's go and hop right in to give it a spin. And let's do this. Wow. <laughs> Poor Crash. So where's the next mask? Not here. If these chuckle nuts weren't punching holes in reality, we could open our own rifts. Uh, for now, we're stuck taking the long route. But I sense another rift around here somewhere. Ah! Embryo. Friends, I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> Give me that ability. Can I just teleport? Uh, um, just throw down a potion and just vanish into thin air? That would be nice. Okay. Anyway. Here we go. Like I said, this world is freaking amazing. Look at this. Like, seriously. And also, we got this ability now. How do we activate them again? That's how. Okay. Ooh. So, as you can see, we're now spinning around like a, like a top... Just kind of non-stop until we decide to hit the button and stop it. So the triangle button seems to start it. So here we go. And we can also use it to fly. So yeah, this is a very, very fun mask to um, take control of. Very fun indeed. So yeah, we're going to have a good time with this one, I think. Either way, um, like I said, Tranquility Falls. Super, super nice. I mean, look at this. I mean... Just looking at this makes you feel at peace and relaxed, doesn't it? Like, seriously, I know I keep saying this, but they knocked this game out of the park. They seriously did. But anyway, anyway. What was I saying before all this started? I don't even remember. I was talking about something. Something having to do with, um... I don't even know. My brain doesn't work at times. Ah, don't fall, don't fall. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Gotta watch those TNT. Yeah, but either way, like I said... Shut up, Embryo. Oh, oh, secret. Ooh, a gem. There's a gem up here. Ooh, ooh. 
We're fine, we're fine. I haven't made it much farther past Tranquility Falls, by the way, or past these levels. Like, I played the three levels here, but I have yet to play the boss. So, Embryo is apparently the boss here, and I haven't actually made it to that point where I have uh, defeated him yet. So, yeah. Ooh, flashback tape. Yay, we can collect this one now. Awesome, awesome. That's what we get for not dying. We get rewards, my friends. We get rewards. Okay, and look at these enemies, too. These guys. Ooh, boy. These ones actually aren't going to come to life, are they? But we will have some later that will. And honestly, they look so cool. Like, seriously, amazing. I, I can gush over this game forever. Like, seriously. Anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I think I was talking about work and how Furtaro is working with me now, which is really cool. Not very often do you um, get to work with, like, your best friend, you know? The, the one you've known forever. Open! So, yeah, I feel actually very lucky to have that opportunity. And, honestly, it's, it's just super duper cool to um, have him in the workplace. And he seems to really enjoy it, too, you know? He does, so... It makes things just a lot more interesting, you know? It does. Anyway. Ah, okay, okay, careful, careful. Easy does it there. And I'm probably going to alternate levels, by the way. Crash, Coco, kind of back and forth. Just kind of to mix things up. That way we're not always playing as Crash or always playing as Coco, you know? Alright, there we go. Oh, that's right, that's right. These little things will shoot. There we go. And we can actually deflect them, but... Wow, where's the thing for this? Did I miss it somewhere? Oh, please don't tell me I missed it. That's not good. I was on a roll, man. I was trying to collect everything. I was trying to not miss any boxes, trying not to die. Ah, whatever. That's highly unfortunate. Guess we'll just have to take it as it comes. I know I missed it somewhere. And maybe if I'm lucky, I might see it back in editing, but we'll see. I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm usually not that attentive, so I'll be honestly shocked and surprised if I do. Don't, 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 do. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're fine. Like I said, I kind of have trouble controlling this at some, at some points, but we're fine. No big deal. Kind of starting to get the hang of it now that I have actually played it for a little while, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, these ones we... Okay, yeah. We have some time. These ones we have to be a bit careful of because, as you can see, they work very similar to the um, Crash Bandicoot 1. The um, plants. The ones that would um, jump up and attack you. Hey, yeah, shut up. I'm not here to listen to you banter and babble on, Embryo. It's like, honestly, I could care less of... Ah! Really? That was just a stupid death. I mean, seriously... Why does this stuff always happen to me? Huh, come on, Saul. Come on. You can't let yourself be a victim to these petty little things. I mean, seriously. Otherwise, this game is just going to frustrate you, infuriate you, and honestly, it's not going to be a good time. Trust me. I have been there, my friends. I have been there. When it comes to... Ah, oh, gosh darn it. When it comes to games like this, I know what it's like to get infuriated, to basically get beyond the point where I can even talk... I get so frustrated that the game is just, honestly, like, I want nothing to do with it, yet I keep playing it for whatever sick reason. Oh, gosh darn it. It's not even that hard. Like, why am I feeling so much? Like, seriously, come on, Zol. Stick with it there. Stick with it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Easy does it now. Easy does it. Okay, so land. Okay, good. I know it's a small platform, but it's not that hard. Like I said, it's very easy to do this. There we go. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Okay, land. All right. I remember I struggled so hard with this the first time, too. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I thought I got a checkpoint ahead. I guess not. Oh, okay, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, like I said, like I was saying, these works very similar to the plants in Crash 1, so we have to be careful of them. You know, the ones that will um, jump up and grab you. Yeah, those ones. Okay, and... Really now? That's just bad luck, man. I'm telling you, that is just serious bad luck. Like, what are the chances? 
Hey, embryo, I'm starting to really hate you. I just want you to know that. Come on, Zol. This was supposed to be a relaxing stream, or not even stream, a relaxing recording. It's supposed to be, okay, we're just going to go in. We're going to play some Crash Bandicoot. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing to worry about. Everything should have been perfect. But no, are we... Are we going to get that lucky? No, apparently not. Okay, you see, this is why I'm saying I, I struggled at the Econo segments because... Even though it's not that hard, some people can master this super duper easily. Like for me, I don't know what it is. It's like something about it. I just don't do that well at. I don't. Okay, there we go. Okay, gentle, gentle, gentle. Come on, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh man, okay. And we can let go of it at any time too and land if we want to. But the thing is, great, a petty checkpoint. Oh, don't I feel honored. Thanks, game. And I hate when I get pity checkpoints. I don't need no pity checkpoints. Well, apparently I do if I keep dying, but you know. At least we don't have to do that Kano segment again, because, you know, we have more on the way. But, jeez. Okay, okay. Easy does it there. Oh, that's why I died before, because that falls. I didn't realize it fell. That's stupid. I didn't notice that the first time I played this level. Okay. Okay. Bonus time. And do we have a Kano? No. Okay. How do we do this bone? Oh, that's right. It's this one. It's this one. Hold on. This one. Hold on. We want to jump up here. There we go. I think I think it was Queen Bee who was doing this. I don't remember. Somebody was doing this and then they were really confused on how. So, yeah. There we go. I know it's kind of confusing. They eventually figured it out, but... Go ahead and hit uh, any one of those will do. It doesn't matter which. Let that timer go off. There we go. Good. And no, don't do not get crushed by that, Coco. I am not going to be happy if you do. I'm not going to be a happy Zol. I know I say that all the time. I do, but <laughs> I'm not going to be a happy Zol. All right. There we go. Go ahead and grab you. And I think that was the only one. Or was there one more back here? Uh, these ones. That's right. Can't forget these ones. That would not be good if we forgot those. There we go. And they, they trick you because they put that up box there. They're like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Just go ahead and jump up there. You'll have nothing to worry about. Oh, there goes one of my Akus. Or my only Aku. <sighs> Dang it, Zolt. Like, sir, how do I mess that up? How? How do I mess that up? Answer me. Oh, my. There we go. I'll hit that one. That way, I don't have to worry about it exploding on me. Because we don't want that. Please tell me that's a life. No. Apparently, it was the first time. But any time consecutively after. Like, I have to get in one go, apparently. I noticed, I noticed that's something about the lives in these bonuses. It's really weird. It's like some of the extra lives I can get the first time. Or any time. No matter, regardless if, if I die. But other ones, I have to... Um, do it on the first try, otherwise I don't get that life. I don't understand why they do that. It's kind of an odd mechanic, honestly. But whatever, you know. I'm not the one who designed this game. I'm just playing it. Playing it for enjoyment. That's the whole point, right? Oh. Hello. Avoid the green magic, because we don't want any of that around here. No siree. Oh, boy. Here we go. Another Kano segment. Right. I was hoping for another Econo segment. Oop, 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 oop. Don't you dare. There we go. Okay, we can deflect that back at him. That's really good. It's like our one and only defensive mechanism that we've got. I'm threading the needle hardcore right now. I don't know how I pulled that one off. <laughs> okay, I kind of um, did a bit more than I should have there. But either way, there we go. Okay, there we go. Stay still. Stay still. Good job. Good job. You are doing fantastic. I'm so proud of you. I am so, so proud of you. Okay. Next segment. This one, I think I kind of struggled on a bit too. So hopefully we won't be too bad here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Just got to take it easy. Just got to relax. 
Okay, there we go. Woo! 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 I don't know why I did that. Okay. Almost did that. Yeah, that's right. I think I did this by pure luck the first time. I, like, clutched it hardcore, man. I clutched it hardcore. I don't want to win by clutch. I want to win by skill. Skill, my friends. Skill is far superior, at least in my opinion. Some of y'all might disagree. I mean, you know. Okay, there we go. Gentle. Okay, what's over here? Is there any purpose to going over here? No. I don't know why that is there. It's just there for no reason. Awesome. Okay, here's the bridge, which Ali destroyed. If you remember my stream, then that's where that comes from. <laughs> and we have some more boxes over here. And then this dreaded segment. Alright. Gentle, gentle. Okay. That was good. Make sure we collect the boxes. I might end up missing a few, but I'll get as many as I can. Okay, there we go. Just keep the momentum going. We're fine. See? We're fine. We have nothing to worry about. Everything is good. Maybe there are enough nitro? Nope, I missed 10 boxes. Okay. They like to hide boxes in this game hardcore, man. Like, I don't know where they put them, but they hide them. And they hide them well. Alright, we got five of the gems. Or four of the gems. Died seven times. Had we not messed up on the first Econo segment, we probably would have done okay. But we got the flashback tape, so that's something, right? We'll do one more level. One more level. And then after that, I think we'll go ahead and call it for this episode. Back to the dimensional map. Very Crash 1-like. But they did that on purpose for story purposes. Those who don't know, they did that because the story of the game, it's very linear. Did we do this already? Yeah, we did that one. Um, Dragon on. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a good one to end it off on. Dragon on. I don't like this episode. It's dragging on. Eh, not really. <laughs> no, I guess these videos aren't that long in comparison to, like, other games that I play. Like, my House Flipper episodes, for instance, you can expect anywhere from 50 minutes to an hour every time. Versus this game, like, every episode is anywhere from 45 minutes to maybe an hour. I don't know. This level is freaking amazing. I just want to say that right now. Oh, I meant to change back to Crash, but no big deal. I just want to say that right now. The or the aesthetics of this level are absolutely unbelievable. Seriously, unbelievable. Also, we got dragons. I almost fell down the hole because the dragon looks so cool. I was like mesmerized by the fact that we have dragons in this level. And apparently that falls true. And seriously, how cool is that? Especially for Crash Bandicoot. Like, we didn't have any any of this in the original Crash Bandicoot. Well, of course, we had a lot for what it was. Oh, shoot. We're dead. Okay. I tried to get the boxes. I failed to get the boxes. I just died. Good thing there's a checkpoint right there. We got lucky. And now we're back to Crash Bandicoot 1. Yay! And by the way, I learned the hard way I cannot touch the roof. Because apparently, apparently, the roof is instantaneous death. So yeah, roofs are bad in this game. It's not like House Flipper where I can walk around on the roof freely. And more Econo. I think these Econo segment segments are a little bit easier. If I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm right. Okay, and he's gone already. He didn't last very long, did he? No, I don't see think that he did. That's alright. We don't need him anyway. Oh, okay. We're fine here. We're fine here. Just wait for that. There we go. Good timing, my friends. We are doing great. Minimal, minimal deaths. Minimal deaths. Like five deaths max. If I can do it in three, then that's going to be even better, but we'll see. We will see. We'll see. Like I said, I'm a Crash Bandicoot Pro at this point. I can handle this. Joop. Ooh, wait for the right timing, and the right timing is now. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. You see that? Expert. I'm an expert. I'm an expert. 
Alright, alright. Keep it going, keep it going. And I... Wait, did I die? Yeah, I, I did die once because of that stupid TNT. That's right. Either way, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Hello there, my friends. Goodbye. Well, it's sad to see them go, honestly, because they're really cool to look at. Not many enemies in any game am I actually sad to kill, unless it's something which is clearly good. Oh man, had it not been for that TNT, we would have gotten the flashback tape. Oh well. Ah. And there's our second death. Good job, Zol. Seriously. That's how it goes with any game, though. It's like, any time I play a game like this, 90% of my deaths are going to be due to something stupid. Like dying by that TNT or falling down a cliff where I could very easily avoid it. It's like they're all preventable. They're all preventable. But I guess in a game like this, I mean, all of them are preventable anyway. That wasn't that wasn't very nice of you. That was not very nice of you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I would have let you live, but you almost killed me. So, you know. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Zoop. Okay, I thought it could get me, but it can't. But it can't. Yoop, there we go. Alright, nice. Making some steady progress. Steady progress indeed, and getting a lot of lives. We are in the 80s now. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Okay. So this one looks trickier than it is. It's fine. Okay, I don't I didn't even have to double jump, you see? It's that simple. Whoa. Whoa, that's an elevator. Okay. I wasn't expecting the elevator. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. Zoop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see? All the hard parts I can do just fine. It's the easy parts where I fail. It's the easy parts where I tend to fall flat. Like there. It's all that coming from a mile away. It's like I should have known. I should have known. Alright, alright. Freaking whatever. And I didn't want to get that gem anyway, honestly. Okay. I think we lost a Kano. Yeah, we don't have a Kano anymore. Good. Honestly, I don't want Kano. <laughs> you see, something stupid. All four of my deaths have been attributed to something stupid, preventable, and pathetic. You know, Zol, maybe you're just stupid. You know, this is why you should never put yourself down. Only bad things come. So don't put yourself down, okay? If there's any advice to be learned from what just happened, don't put yourselves down. It's just going to lead to bad. It's just going to lead to bad. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, knock on that TNT. Good. So I think I saw a hidden box there. I don't know. Could have all been TNT? I don't know. What does all know anyway? What does all know anyway? Okay, there we go. Okay, grab that, grab that. Horse. It's the dang depth perception with the ropes that's killing me right now. It's the fact that, like... And I know it's going to sound like I'm making an excuse here, but it's like I can't tell exactly where the rope is. Oh, I mean, I guess that's that's a problem that everybody who's played... They're not everybody, but a good number of people um, face when it comes to this game is depth perception. I mean, it was the main issue with Crash 1. And making a game similar, I guess it faces some of the same issues that this one does. Thank you! Finally, you grabbed the stupid rope. Jeez, I don't know why that was such a hard thing to do. Okay, those fall. I guess I should have known that. I mean, it's a rickety old bridge. I mean, I've beaten High Road and Road to Nowhere, so I should have guessed that that one was deadly. Okay, there we go. There we go. Gentle. Okay, yeah, there's no hidden box there. It's just a bunch of TNT. It would be kind of an ideal place to hide a life, but I guess not this time not in their eyes wait for it also what is that rope swinging on oh probably okay never mind so so pretty so so pretty it's like i don't even mind replaying this part because it's just so pretty to look at like wow seriously wow 
Bonus time! Now, one second before we do this bonus. I'll be right back. Alright, it's this bonus. Oh boy, this one is kind of kind of tricky, not gonna lie. Okay. So how did we do this again? We have a Kano. And we needed to do something kind of obscure. Hold on, so hold on. Let's try... Okay, not that. How do we do this? Because notice there's actually a box above us. That's the one that's kind of tricky to get in, I think. I think the idea is I have to bounce off the dragon, but I did it a different way when I did this the first time. Actually, I think I remember how I did it. So hold on, let's go back in. And allow me to dim in. Yeah, there's a third box up there too. So I think, if I'm not mistaken. Shoot, that's not what I did. Oh, that's right, I remember. Okay, 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 not that obviously, but. Oh boy, they really like to um, make this challenging. Basically, I don't know if this is the intended way, but what I do, start from here obviously, double bounce, ah, dang it, I missed it. But the idea is, as you are falling onto that second box, you cannot be spinning, because if you're spinning, then obviously you're just going to pummel right through it, and it's not going to do you any good. So what we need to do, we need to double jump, okay, there we go. Kinda. Mm. Hold on. Yeah, not quite it. Like I said, it's kind of tricky what you have to do, but you have to let go of the spin and then bounce on that box and then re spin again in midair. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it off now. It's. Dang it. I'm not doing well at this at all. It's like I cannot land on the box, but. You'll see. When I actually get it down, you'll see what you're supposed to do. So grab a Kano. There we go, like that. Okay, that is how it's supposed to be done. Like I said, it's kind of tricky. It's kind of, kind of tricky, but at the same time, it's very much doable once you actually learn the technique. You can handle it. No big deal. No big deal. Alright. And then, I think there is another trick that we need for this one, too. Hold on. Uh, no, we just use a Kano. Okay, there we go. Oh, there is that up there. Hold on, how did we do this? Let's go up here. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, it's just simply doing that. Okay. There we go. Pretty easy, pretty easy. We got it. Just a couple tricks, a couple things that you need to know about this game. You just need to kind of use your head every now and then if you want to try and get all the boxes. But either way, either way, not too bad. Okay, that one I thought would fall, but apparently not. And this guy may or may not be guarding something. Yep. There is indeed something back here. This is where you find the hidden gem, but I already have it because I found it the first time, so... Go. Gentle, gentle. Arcano, we might not be the best of friends, but you know, I do need you right now. I do need you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice one. Checkpoint. There's the deadly roofs again. You cannot touch the roof. The roof is bad. The roof is instantaneous death. I don't know what they put on that roof. And also, really, why? Am I struggling to get up there? Thank you. Good job, Zol. You are a true hero. <sighs> See, that's what I'm saying. Roof is instant death. You can't touch the roof, otherwise you die. Honestly, they couldn't have even put like spikes or something on the roof. Cause look at it, it looks so nice and peaceful and friendly. It's like, nope, apparently not. Okay. And and he jumped out at me. Okay, great. I was hoping for that. There we go. There we go. I'm not even going to worry about that guy because he's not even a threat. You, however, are. Thanks for that. Oh, man. I don't like him. He's really doing a number on us. Like, seriously. It's like, this game doesn't want us to get the uh, death gem. It's like, no. 
You're just gonna keep on dying in stupid and horrendous ways. Okay, here we go. At least the death gem playthroughs are not that long, just simply because, um, for those, you don't have to, like, go for all the boxes or anything. It's not like you have to die, or get every single box without dying, like in Crash 1. You just have to get through the level, and you'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Nice, nice. Nice, I think. Yeah! Yeah! Get that checkpoint first, because we don't want to worry about dying now, because that would be terrible. I would not be happy. I would not be happy. Okay, there we go. Good! Oop, oop. And we're dead. Great. Fantastic. We only held on to our 80 lives for a very short amount of time. Then we dropped back down into the 70s. Not good, not good. Okay, I thought I was safe, but apparently not. Okay, fine, so be it. At least we get that life back. What was lost has now been recovered. Okay, gentle. There we go, there we go. Hit that. Go again. Oop. Okay. Ah! I'm having trouble landing on these platforms. I don't know why. There's something about these platforms. I just cannot seem to land on them. Come on. You're better than this, Zul. You are so much better than this. Or at least I think I am. Ah! No! You dumb dragon. You're making this recording drag on. <laughs> ah, funny. No, no. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry at the same time. I mean, I'm not stopping these jokes for you. I think I got stuck inside the dragon. Jeez, man. How many times have we died? 15? Yeah, that's that's not good. You see? You see? If not for that, we would be at 90 lives right now. We'd be at the big 9-0. We'd be close to our maximum of 99. I'm assuming that's the maximum anyway. I don't know, because I haven't made it that high yet. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Good gravy. What a nightmare of a level this has been. Yo, no, 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 no. Stop it. You stupid. Thank you. Just go away. Thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. And uh, that did us absolutely no good nothing hidden over here that would be a good spot to hide something but no okay okay we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that we missed 13 boxes on lucky 13 of course because what else what other number would it be am i right continue even though we're not going to but you know continue and now that only puts us one level short of where we left off so yeah I think that's some good progress. Alrighty, my friends, I think we made some really good progress in today's episode of Crash 4. It's about time. If you liked this episode, do me a favor, smash that like button, please. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, because I've got plenty more on the way. This game comes out twice a week. And yeah, we are going to be playing this to completion. Next level we're going to be playing is Off Balance. So prepare yourselves for that come Saturday. Either way, I want to thank each and every one of you for showing your support and watching this video. Thank you, everybody. Until next time, hopefully you all are having a wonderful Tuesday, and y'all take care.